In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation to trade commodities, how you get a watch list just like this step by step, including the market data you're going to need for this and the trading permissions you're going to need. Everything start to finish to trade commodities on the platform. So this setup is almost identical to my options trading setup. And I just have one big difference, which is the watch list over here on the right hand side. I like to have this with dedicated headers to let me know which commodities, future contract I'm going to trade, and then list them down below along with the index. So to set this up the same way, we're going to walk through here first and then get into all the good stuff like the market data and the permissions. I'm going to just drop this down here and start searching. Let's go soybean to start. And if you just type in enter, it's going to pull up a whole bunch of different options for you to go through. And you know that ZS is soybean futures. We're going to click that. And now we can either do index, futures, or options. And if you do futures right here, quick little hack for you, and you click on more slash multiple, this is going to open up an entire kind of little window for you with all the kind of futures for soybeans. And if you just click the first one, which is the most recent, and then kind of cold shift down and go up five, six, seven, whatever you want to add to your watch list, you can get them all in one little shot. You can click OK. And there may be a little pop-up saying, do you want to add the index to this list as well? Which you can see it just pre-populated that in there for me right there at the top. You have the index and all your different expiration date, your contracts there, May, June, August, July, September, November, January. And to put a header on this column, you can just right-click on the top level there and just go insert group header above. And that's where I would go in and type in soybean. And so in our example watches, we've got crude oil, live cattle, gold, and silver. I'm going to show you how to set up crude oil and live cattle. I'm hoping you can find out how to do gold and silver yourself after going through it a couple more times. Just very quickly, we'd go in here and go CL or crude oil, whichever you want to do. And see, you can pop in with Colgate, which is not what we want. We want light crude oil right there. We want futures again. And we want, again, more multiple. And let's click on the first four here in this example and just go OK. It also adds the CL index, right click on CL index and go insert new group header above, crude oil. And now we've got this thing looking pretty nice. I don't like that it's one kind of line below that. If that's the case, just drag and drop it up and the whole thing moves for you. And the last one we're gonna do there is live cattle. So down here, again, you can search live cattle and you're gonna see that LE live cattle CME right there, boom, futures, more multiple, and we'll go to the first four again. And then we're going to put our little editor, right click, insert group header above, live cattle. Uh, it's not where I want it to be, so I'm going to just drag it up one more time again. And now my index is right there. I'm going to drag that up, refresh it. Perfect. Now we have it looking pretty, pretty good. So for gold and silver, if you wanted to add those, it would just be GC and SI. Assuming that you know how to do that, we're going to pop those in. And that gets you a nice, neat watch list, just like our example from start to finish right there. So what we're going to do now is just walk through how to set up the proper market data and trading permissions so that when you go in to make a trade, let's say I wanted to go in here, the crude oil, May 24th, and we're going to go May 24th on our expiration dates there. And I'm just going to pick the regular right there. And then if I was going to sell a put, let's say, and I wanted to do this, I'm just go out of the money a little bit. Just for example, here was 77.5, right? Let's go down here. I would go in and if you get to this point and then you go and you have your limit order and it's probably going to be closer to 74 just based on the bid and the ask right now showing after hours and you go to submit it may give you a warning it may give you a little pop-up saying oh you don't have the right market data the right positions in my case it just popped down into the bottom there and it's in my active orders area it's not filled right now but it would be filled once the market opened uh, but in your case if it's not there and you, you can't see that because you don't have the right market data Here's what you do. Step one, go up to account on the left-hand side and you wanna make sure you go into your market, subscribe to market data research, click there and it's gonna open up a new window for you. And so when you get to your market data subscriptions area, it is super important to have these two different subscriptions turned on in order to get live data for your commodities trading. The first one in here is going to be the US Futures Value Bundle Plus NPL2 for Trader Workstation at $5 USD a month. The second one is U.S. Security Snapshot Future Value Bundle, NPL1, $10 a month. If you have those two, those are the two that I had to turn on on my account to get my commodities trading to work. So to find those, if you want to go and you don't have them yet and you're not in your subscription list, just go to this little gear icon right here at subscriptions. And it's going to take you to an area to configure your market data, which means you can just change your subscriptions, update what you want to have market data for. If we scroll down to get to our futures 
slash commodities uh, market data under North America, you want quote bundles. You can see this little expansion tab right there. Then you go down and I have checked on US futures value bundle plus NPL2 and US security snapshot futures value bundle NPL1. So these are bundles of market data for different things. And just a quick tip for you, you can actually go into interactive brokers back to TWS and look at in the options chain, which platform or which exchange that the gold uh, futures commodities are on or the live cattle. And they're all on different ones of these, but they're all included in this US futures value bundle here on NPL2. And the reason why you have to have this one, uh, you have to have this bundle and you have to have this one is because you can't get NPL2 without NPL1. So they kind of go package deal, but it's only 15 bucks a month if you want to get in and trade your commodities. Now you may do this and turn these on and just it's a quick check mark. Then you go down to the bottom and you would click continue and then you'd go through and just accept. And it would be kind of almost instantaneous. At least it was for me when I did it in my account to get access, but still you may get the roadblock of not having the right trading permission. So if you do this and you kill, you still can't execute the trade, then we got to go one layer further and actually change our market uh, trading permissions. To do that, we can just go from this screen right here. We can just go, actually we can go to the top here and click on settings. And on the next screen, you wanna scroll down to where it says trading permissions and click on that right there. You can open up a new window. Again, this may be familiar to you if you've gone through and updated this before. Uh, the only thing that I had to add was futures right here. I had to click add to do it. You can see that if it says request right down here for things like single stock or next shares, you won't have access to or permission to trade them. I clicked add on here for futures. I clicked add on here for futures options. And once I had futures and futures options clicked on and ready to go, then I was able to finally go back and into my Trader workstation and execute my trades. So now you've got your setup inside TWS, you've got your market data subscriptions for the service for commodities, and you know how to do the trading permissions for commodities as well. So there should be nothing stopping you from going ahead and making your trades, entering your commodities trades inside Interactive Brokers, other than learning how commodities work, which is a time intensive task, let me tell you, but hopefully this video makes it one step easier to getting your setup right for you then go and execute your commodities trades. Hope you got some value to this one. If you did, please subscribe to the channel for more. And a thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.